everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I've got a tag video for you guys and it's called If I Could Only Keep One Tag. And I was tagged by a really good YouTuber friend of mine. She is across the pond and her name is Angelina from Mosley Doll 78 and I'll link her channel down below. A really good YouTuber friend of mine and so please check her out. Again, I'll link her channel down below. And so she tagged me and I believe the YouTuber that started this tag is Kelly Gooch, I believe that's who started it. So, you know, I want to give credit to wherever credit is due, and I'll also link her channel down below. So this tag, if I could only keep one, it deals with makeup, and it's it's something that if you didn't have any of your makeup, but you, you're allowed to only keep one, which one would you choose? Something that you would use every day. It doesn't have to be your favorite product, but something that you'd use every day, which one would it be? And I know I'm a little late doing this tag. I think it started like two months ago and I was tagged about a month ago. So <laughs> I know I'm a little late, but you know, I got busy. <laughs> I got busy. Okay, so without wasting any more time, I'm gonna go ahead and start this tag. Now, the first thing that she had listed was primer. And this one right here would be by Guerlain, the Lore Radiance Primer. I believe this is my third bottle, and I can use this every day. Even if when my skin is feeling kind of oily, I can use this every day. You can see the specs of 24 karat gold that it has in it. It is a little bit of a pricier item, but this is something that I can use every day. For foundation, that one was a tough one because I have several foundations to choose from. I have, you know, matte, luminous, satin finish, so it was kind of hard to decide which one I would use every day that I would keep. I finally decided maybe that's why I waited so long to do this because I couldn't figure out the foundation. <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So the foundation that I decided on was Laura Mercier, the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. And this is in the shade 3N1, 3N1 Buff. And I picked this one. This one is a matte finish. This one is a little bit lighter during the summer, but I figured with bronzer, you could bronze it up. And this foundation, it doesn't give me those little white dots in my pores. And it pretty much is a long wearing foundation for me. And when I say long wearing, it's for me, long wearing for me is like six hours, six, seven, eight hours. I mean, I, I don't think I could go more than that. And I, I do have combo skin. So even though it is a matte finish, you can kind of still see, you know, where my, my T-zone, my oiliness is right here. You can kind of see it a little bit glowy there. So this kind of mats it down for me. Yet I do like the luminous finish too, but I figured if something I'd wear every day, something that I'd keep, I would keep this one. And because of the shade, you know, during the summer, the bronzer that I decided to keep is no brainer this one right here the better bronzer by physicians formula and this is in the shade deep bronzer i really like it and i i love the smell don't you love the smell with this bronzer so this bronzer is something that i would keep it would work with this foundation during the summer winter fall spring what have you so this is one i keep next is highlighter and this is by wet n wild and this is in the shade golden flower crown it's another drugstore product, and you know, I do like this highlighter. It does give me that bang, you know, at least for me. And I like this color because for my skin tone, it's not so blinding, but yet it does give you that <laughs> And everything that I'm mentioning, I'm wearing today. And for concealer, I keep the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And this one here is in the shade Neutralizer. This one really kind of brightens underneath my eye, and I think this one will work with me spring, summer, fall, winter, so I'd keep this one. Now the eyeshadow palette, that one was a tough one to choose. Let me, let me get in the center here. I don't know how I got way off. But the eyeshadow palette, that one was also a tough one to decide on because you want something that can go during the whole year. I'm assuming this is for the whole year, but one I decided on is by Natasha Denona, the Sunset Palette. I love warm tones, and this is something that I would use every day. Here it is right here. 
I mean, look at those. Look, 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 look. <laughs> and this palette I picked because, look at the colors. <laughs> you know, you could make many looks with this. You can go with an all matte look. You can go shimmery look. You can go daytime. You can go nighttime. You can go little makeup. You can go, poof, a whole lot. And it's the shadows that I'm wearing right now on my eyes. But this one, I mean, let's just, hey, let's get this matte shade. Let's get this one. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at those colors. And because I love warm tones, this is the one I keep. This is the one I keep. So, yes, I keep a $129 palette. That's what I do. <laughs> Next is blush, and if you've seen some of my videos, especially the blush tag, I did, I did another tag. This one here by Chanel. The number 260 Alzane, this one right here. This one, I didn't even have to think about it. Here it is right here. I mean, it's such a pretty dusty rose. It's so pretty, and it does have like a little bit of a shimmer, and everything that I'm keeping is on my face right now, so... This blush could go with any look, especially with the eyeshadow palette. This blush would go with any look. And this is something that I keep and use every day. So if all of my makeup were gone and the ones that I kept were these and the blush I had to keep, it'd be this one. Now for lipstick, this one didn't take me long to figure out which one I'd keep. It's by Bite Beauty and it's the Amuse Bush. I believe that's how you say it. Amuse Bush lipstick. And this is in the shade Maple. Again, it's the one I'm wearing right now. I think this look, this lipstick, would go with the eyeshadow palette. It would go with the blush. It would go with a no makeup look, a full makeup look, at least for me on my skin tone. Here it is right here. I'm going to use this quite a bit. Let me swatch it for you. I mean, it's such a pretty color. And for me, I like a little color on my lips. For the longest time, I didn't wear lipstick. I mean, for the longest time until I started watching YouTube. Then I started my channel and I've been really into lipsticks, especially with color. It took me a while. I mean, don't get me wrong. It did take me a while to get used to having color on my lips. But now that I do have color on my lips, that's what I like the most is color on my lips. <laughs> so I know some people would probably pick a nude, but... I would pick this color right here, maple. This is the one I keep. All right, those are the items that I would keep. My husband's in the background making noise. <laughs> All right, this is my if you could only keep one tag video. And I'll probably tag a couple people down below. Believe me, you don't have to do this tag um, because I was a little late on it. It's probably died down. So, no worries. <laughs> no worries. So again, check out Mosley Doll 78 I'll link her channel down below again. And Kelly Gooch, the person who started this tag. Alright you guys, thank you for watching my If You Could Only Keep One Tag video. I'll bet a little late, but better late than never, right? Anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.